Hi there, this is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with another video log. This one is going to be about the Rogue Deck of the Month competition. I've narrowed it down to eight finalists. I will have a little short video here in a second that will explain the top eight and the, the submissions that I chose. Right now, let's go on to the prize support. I've got here, we've got my, my prize support from, well, some of it anyway. The remaining ones I did not trade away. A lot of you know, all my personal friends know that I don't open packs. I think it's the biggest waste of money to open packs. Not into like the lottery feel of Magic the Gathering. So I usually use packs to either trade to get into more tournaments or to... The game store that I, I play at is really cool because they give $4. Uh, if you if you win packs, they can you can either get a pack or you can get $4 of store credit towards more tournaments or cards. So I always trade it back in for the four dollar store credit so i can play in more tournaments and that's kind of how i was able to go kind of quote unquote infinite at my local game store without ever paying money for magic the gathering except for like sleeves or you know any just basically i didn't ever pay for tournament entries it was pretty cool anyway yeah it was how i entered my pro tour dragons maze or pro tour yeah ptq qualifier was actually with store credit so one of the only reasons that i actually played in it to begin with is it was a a block away from my house and i was already there for game day and b i had the store credit to i think it was like a 30 dollar or 25 dollar entry fee to the pro tour qualifier and so i wasn't one of those pe people that drove very far or really even planned on playing it but i'm glad i did because of course it did win me that uh, plane ticket to PTQ San or Pro Tour San Diego, which is Dragon's Maze. Anyhow, I'll quit rambling there and we'll get back to the prize support. So I did keep these packs. This was from my first place finish in the one of the pre-releases I played in. I think Saturday night was where this was from. And this is 12 packs of a Dragon's Maze. And we also got the Soren versus T-Balt here. For the first place so this is basically the decks were chosen on creativity originality and playability and morton and i were able to narrow it down to eight and now we're leaving it up to you guys to vote so go to the facebook page and vote for the decks that you would like to see going on to the semifinals since it is the quarterfinals right now yeah and we will narrow it down from eight to four and then four to two and then choose a winner there so let's get on to the prize support here well, of course first place We'll get a Soren versus T-Bald. Yeah, this guy here. One of the best dual decks ever printed, in my opinion. It's loaded with awesome cards. Right now, you can pick these up for $20 at most, like, Walmarts or any other stores. But this is going to be one of those decks that I'm sure is going to be $35 in the future because it has just some amazing cards in here. Of course, the Soren by itself is just a really cool Planeswalker. But then it has, like, Spectral Processions, which is has seen play since the beginning of Modern. I don't see it going anywhere. And... Forget all the other cards. It's got some legacy playable cards in here as well. Very cool deck. So that is the for the first place finish. Now let's let's get rid of this rubber band here, and I will show you. We got four packs, four of them, four Dragon's Maze sealed packs here for second place finish. So that's about a sixteen dollar value. And then for third and fourth is two packs each. So third and fourth place get two packs. And then we have a pack each for 5th through 8th. So you're at least going to get a pack if you made the top 8. And how this will work is you will just have to PM me your address. Hopefully you're lo you are not internationally, but if you are internationally, I'll figure it out. Also, if you want it on M MTGO, which I hope some of you do, I have a ton of packs on there that is very easy just to give um, MTGO packs. I might actually throw in like a ticket if you get... Uh, if you would actually like to do MTGO, because it's a lot easier on me rather than having to... You know, actually go snail mail and send these to you. So be expecting those those prizes to come as soon as we are finished with the contest. I'm hoping to find a sponsor for June's Rogue Deck of the Month. We are going to take a bit of a hiatus here uh, as Dragon's Maze was just released. And I have to start concentrating on the Pro Tour. Uh, so I'm not going to have time to, to actually do this Rogue Deck of the Month competition. Uh, Rogue Market is going to be coming soon. I'm actually waiting for the first major tournament. With, that's usually how I predict prices, is the first major tournament that is played after a new set release, then you will see a jump in prices about two weeks later. So I'm, I am definitely going to be looking at the finishes in the first major tournament for Dragon's Maze, and I will then make a rogue market. I'm also thinking about 
making a rogue market for cards that I think you should pick up right now that have like longevity playability like in commander or casual one of the cards that I'm thinking about that, uh, that is increasing ambition I think is uh, is a card you can pick up for 75 cents right now that I think will always hold that value and even increase in the long run it goes in basically any commander deck that is using black anyhow let's get back to the competition here like I said I will have the top eight decks here and yeah, so I'll just, without further ado, we'll go into those decks.